We're here at Alps Restaurant in Pop Brixton, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these. Best thing about it is it's super easy to make and it's super, super tasty. So to make this, we've got chopped pancetta, chopped garlic, some salt, pepper, nutmeg, but you don't necessarily need that, cornichons, pickled red onion, some white wine, uh, chopped new potatoes, some cream, and then we've got some garlic infused butter and some bread. That's just for the garlic bread later. And the signature ingredient, the red bichon cheese. All right, first thing you do, put the garlic and pancetta in the pan. And then we pour in our single cream. And then we add a splash of white wine. That'll do. Mix it around a little bit. And then add the new potatoes. Try and spread it around the whole pan. Some places tend to do them much more finely chopped, but we prefer to keep it a bit of lumpy, make it a bit more interesting. So we've just seasoned it with a bit of salt and pepper. Now it's time to add the reblochon. You can't make a tartar flat without reblochon cheese. For our tartar flat, which is more like a personal size one, we just want three slices of the reblochon. If you do it about half a centimeter in thickness, that'll be good. One, two, three. But that's perfect because when that's in the oven, that's all just going to melt through and it's going to just smell and taste of beautiful cheese. We're going to add a little bit more salt and pepper on the top. And that just goes in the oven at about 190 until it's really bubbly on the top. You want to get the skin of the reblochon really crispy and tasty. So while that's cooking in the oven, we can prep our garlic breads. Very tricky part of the dish. Oh. <laughs> So we've basically just got some normal butter and we've added a load of um, garlic into that as well. Just put that in the oven for about two or three minutes until they're nice and brown and crispy on the top. And that's a perfect thing to go with your tartar flat. Here we go, so this is what you're looking for. Watch out the handle because it can normally be quite hot. As you can see, it's gone nice, brown and crispy on the top and that reblochon will have melted the whole way through. We use a cast iron skillet for our tartar flat, but you can use any oven baked dish at home, so we understand if you don't have one of these. It's not finished just yet. What we do is we add cornichons, pickled red onion. Finally, we have our garlic bread, which you can see is brown, crispy, and looks the part. So you can finish that on the side as well. Awesome, there you have the Alps tartar flat. It's always best to have a little bit of white wine when you're when you're serving your food too. Santé.